Germany has now been deemed by, I believe itself and outside countries, a high risk country for the coronavirus. So what does this mean? I don't know. Uh, as of now, Germany has not followed the same path that Italy and I believe France and Spain are following where they are legally requiring everyone to stay in their houses. Obviously a lot of things, most things have been shut down aside from essential uh, stores and shops and stuff like that, but you right now in Germany are still allowed to leave your house, get fresh air and walk around. Which is what I'm doing this morning. You might be asking yourself, Nick, aren't you supposed to be quarantining yourself right now? Uh, the answer to that is yes, and I still am. I'm just walking around downtown in the park. I have not come into within 30 feet physical distance of any other human being. It's actually a great experience. This isn't, this isn't that much different than how I usually walk around town. Uh, so when someone is holding a big camera like this walking around, people tend to keep their distance as is. So this is a nice deterrent. I could foresee a situation in the next couple of days where Germany uh, does enforce a mandated quarantine and everybody has to stay home aside from going to the grocery store. So I decided I'm gonna give myself this day, this morning, early in the morning, to walk around the park, give myself some fresh air. Not interact with anybody, but to get out of the house in a safe and healthy way. Uh, it feels pretty good. Now, I woke up this morning after having thought that I was charging my camera all night. I woke up and I saw that my camera was not charging and the battery was on 27%. And it got me really upset and anxious because I knew I wanted to walk around and shoot a lot of stuff this morning uh, and make a video. And 27% battery is just not enough to capture all the stuff that I want to capture. I like to shoot a lot of things. Now, are you ready for this video to take a weird, dark turn? Well, here it goes. Seeing the battery percentage this morning and thinking those thoughts, it reminded me basically of a revelation that I've gone through recently. I used to get just extreme sadness and existential dread thinking about death and the fact that life is a relatively short thing and that you die and why does anything matter? I used to have those thoughts. Depressing, right? The reason that I bring this up is because seeing the camera battery this morning, the limited nature of the camera battery this morning, reminded me of this thought. Like right now, I am being so mindful of what I shoot. Every time I turn on the camera, I have a purpose and a meaning, and I'm doing it with like a, a great passion for every single shot right now, because I'm aware that the camera battery is limited. This is the same thing for life. Obviously, nobody knows exactly what happens when we die. But what we do know is that we are for sure on this earth for a limited period of time. Like I said, the limited period of time used to scare me, but now I can see it with a different perspective. See, if you were to live forever, you would never do anything. There's no point or no meaning to any moment because you always have unlimited moments after that. I, if I was gonna live forever, I would have never came to Germany because you say, oh, I'll do it next year or in five years or in 10 years or 100 years. There's no urgency. So the urgency and limited nature of life is what gives it meaning. Like, I find that really, really cool and comforting and fascinating. And uh, I like that the camera battery today made me think about that. See, because I have a limited amount of battery, every single shot that I'm taking I'm mindful of, and there's a sense of urgency about it, and a sense of purpose to it. And I think it's the same thing with life. Because we have a limited time on Earth, a limited number of years, everything matters. I like that a lot. I really like that. We're on 2% battery right now. I gotta get all the shots that I need. There's a great, beautiful sense of urgency and meeting in every single shot right now, and I love it. Whew. Hope I get them all. I made it back to my apartment. I didn't come within like 30 feet of another human being. I did come into close contact with a duck and a pigeon, but that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. One last message that I would like to say, very important, is that